This is the first of five projects written up by Shelly Tan of Northwestern University's Night Lab. The goal of this project is just to simulate a simple dice roll. So the first thing I'll do is show you how the project works. You can see it prompts the user with ready to roll, enter equals roll, Q equals quit. So I'll press enter and it says you rolled a six. Enter again, you rolled a five. Enter again, I rolled another six. Then if I press Q, it says thanks for playing. And that's all there is to it. Back in the code, at the bottom of our script, you can see we call main, so that's where the program starts. Let's look in the main function. We set two variables, sides get six, and rolling gets true. And as long as rolling is true, while rolling, we run through this while loop. Roll again gets input from the user, ready to roll, enter equals roll, Q equals quit. The user inputs something. If Roll again dot lower, so we'll lowercase whatever they input, and that way we only have to compare it to lowercase letters. So if roll again dot lower does not equal Q, lowercase Q, then we set num rolled to roll sides. So that's calling the roll function and passing it our variable sides, which contains six. Up in the roll function, if we hadn't passed in anything, it would use six anyway, because that's the default for sides. It sets num rolled to random dot rand int with two parameters, one comma sides. And random.randint is using the random module. Randint takes these two arguments. One is the lower integer, and sides is the higher integer, six in this case. So that'll return a number between one and six. We'll return numrolled to where it was called from. Down here, numrolled gets four, five, six, whatever number it returned. And then we print that out. Print, you rolled a five. And the way print works is that all the parameters are separated by default by spaces. So this will say you rolled a space four or whatever the number is. If they did press Q, so this is the else condition. If they did press Q, we'll set rolling to false. And then on our next iteration through the loop, when it checks rolling, that'll be false. So it won't go through the loop and it will jump to this print statement. Print, thanks for playing. And that's it. So this one's relatively simple. They'll get a little more complex as we go on. Thanks for watching.